and welcome to another edition of Adams Cable High School Basketball. And today we are at the Lakeland High School gym for a Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup as the Lakeland Chiefs will take on the Carbondale Area Chargers. All brought to you tonight by Adams Cable Service, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall and Son, Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing of Carbondale, Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, by your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts, NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, by Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, your source for quality tires. Also brought to you tonight by the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Tom's War Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs. By McGovern Insurance Agency, comprehensive coverage with a personal touch, and your starting lineups. Brought to you today by the Roselle Department Store. Alongside Glenn Muskowski, Chris Nanfelt, Claire Seymour, and Sal Balzoni of Frankie Carl Productions, I'm Steve Young. Welcome to our broadcast tonight from Lakeland as the Chiefs will take on the Carbondale Area Chargers. Overall, both teams come into the contest with a record of 10 wins and seven losses. Carbondale in the division, a game better at two wins and six, uh, at two and six, and Lakeland over, overall in the division at two and five. So, Glenn, here we go, coming down the home stretch. We're starting to head toward the playoffs, and Carbondale and Lakeland, Lakeland will battle here tonight in uh, a Lackawanna League Division Three matchup. Well, Steve, I think we got two evenly matched teams. We have a couple people from Lakeland, uh, uh, Hazelton, Dunstrom, uh, Stone, and Hazelton who are leading them in scoring. And for Carbondale, we have uh, Allen and uh, Donato and, and Severino and Bennett uh, play, doing a good job. They're close. They're very, very close in scoring. They're very close with their records, and I think they're an evenly matched team on the floor. Well, this will actually be the second meeting between these two teams. If you remember, we had the game here on Adams Cable. Carbondale area defeated Lakeland 49 to 46 at the Pizzeronis gym. Uh, Jay Allen had 18 points and uh, one three point shot. Bennett had 13 for Carbondale. Dunstone a good night for Lakeland. He had 15 and Antonio Hazelton chipped in with 13. So we'll see how things play out here tonight. But I think a key for Lakeland is they are going to have to contain Jay Allen and for the Carbondale area Chargers they are going to have to contain Joe Dunstone uh, who really had a, a great game. He had four three points. Yes in exactly last game Steve. Against Carbondale. He, he is a good shooter. You can't leave him. Alone. You can't leave Allen alone outside either. I mean so the, if they can slow those two guys down each team that uh, we're going to be in for a good battle here. It is senior night here at Lakeland. The festivities took place before the game, and we are just about set to rock and roll with this Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup. It is Lakeland and Carbondale as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Imagine a Wi-Fi system so good, you'll never have to think about Wi-Fi again. Introducing Adams Cable Enhanced Whole Home Wi-Fi. Eero's true mesh technology doesn't just extend your Wi-Fi, it blankets your entire home with a wireless network that just works. With Adam's Cable, you get an incredible connection that gives you the freedom to stream video, surf the web, get social, and play from any room. Never worry about Wi-Fi again with Adam's Cable Whole Home Wi-Fi. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So, just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 36 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com. For service, remember, just call Spall. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Napa 
Welcome back to the Lakeland Gym for Lackawanna League Division Three High School Basketball, Carbondale Area Chargers and the Lakeland Chiefs. Glenn, Lakeland has been on a bit of a roll. They've won their last three games over Honesdale, Montrose, and Dunmore, while the Carbondale Area Chargers, well, they lost their last ball game against Mid Valley, 63-42. Carbondale had a bad first quarter. They were shut out in that quarter, 14 to nothing, and uh, they never just, recovered. Well, I was at that game, Steve. I just go walk, walked into that game just just to see how, how how things were going, and they just couldn't get it uh, on track in the first quarter. It's it was predominantly because of Mid Valley's pressure defense, and if uh, if Lakeland comes out in some pressure defense, that may hurt Carbondale a little bit because they get a little frustrated. But and the same thing goes for. For uh, for Lakeland, if they if you if you slow down their top scorer and uh, play some good defense and run the floor, you're gonna you're gonna be able to be, you can beat them. It's just it's a toss up. I feel this game is a toss up. Who plays the better defense? Who gets who uh, gets going quickly? Quickly will uh, be uh, the determining factor in who's going to win the game. Glenn, when you look at Carbondale area, they, you know, in a time earlier in the year when they lost three after their seven game winning streak, first quarter points have been tough. Uh, first quarter against uh, Mid Valley, they scored seven. Against Valley View in the uh, Toronto's tournament, they only had uh, four second quarter points. So you really yeah. have to get out to a good start. They you put, can't they, get behind. They be, they put themselves in a hole, uh, and uh, that's because they get a little they get a little uh, sloppy with the basketball. You got to protect the ball, run your uh, offensive sets, and look for the good shots. And of course, go down the other end and play solid defense. In the junior varsity contest, Lakeland was victorious here tonight by the score of 35 to 25. We will step aside and go to another break, and when we return, more pregame highlights on tonight's basketball matchup between Carbondale area and Lakeland when we return on Adams Cable High School Basketball. When you need collision repair, turn to the professionals at Vestin's Auto Body and Collision Center to restore your vehicle back to its original condition. For over 34 years, Vestin's has been providing full service collision repair with exceptional customer service. At Vestin's, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Vestin's Collision Center in Carbondale, the trusted name in collision repair in Northeastern Pennsylvania. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Back at the Lakeland Gym alongside Glenn Muskowski and Chris Nanfelt and Claire Seymour handling our live edition of Adams Cable High School Basketball and Sal Balzoni working camera for Frankie Carl Productions. I'm Steve Young. Great to have you on board tonight. A lot of other games going on of interest. Uh, Abington Heights and Valley View. Boy, that, that is should a, be a good one. That is a big game. Holy Cross plays at Mid Valley. Old Forge at Riverside and Mountain View at Forest City. So a lot of great games on tap tonight in local high school basketball. And Glenn, it's going to be essential for uh, both ball clubs not to turn the ball over here yes. tonight. Yes, Steve. The Carbondale has a. Uh, as a, uh, notoriously of, th of throwing the ball, uh, just just not making crisp, sharp, short passes. You got to you got to make those good passes, and you got to move with the ball, and and not stand around. You can't dribble, 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 and expect uh, four other guys to watch you. And Lakeland's got some guys that can shoot the ball from the outside, so Carbondale's got to go out and get them. And of course, as we said before, Lakeland has to stop Allen. And now your starting lineups for today's game brought to you by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale. At Roselle, 
you'll find all your school clothing needs, including spirit wear for Carbondale area, Lakeland, and Valley View, along with a great selection of apparel for the entire family. Are you attending a formal affair or a special event? Let the experience of Sam Kalura work for you with a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno and Son. Roselle is headquarters for professional laundry and dry cleaning services. Sam and the staff at Roselle Department Store in Carbondale are proud to present your starting lineups for today's game between the Lakeland Chiefs and the Carbondale Area Chargers. And now we'll turn things over to public address announcer Derek Muehlheisen with a look at your starting lineups.
very spirited crowd here tonight at Lakeland High School and the gymnasium and we are set to rock and roll with Lackawanna League Division three high school basketball Chargers and the Chiefs here on Adams Cable great to have you on board tonight for all of the action and at center court for the opening tip off it is Josh Doyle matched up with Tyler Donato six foot three junior Josh Doyle at six foot four and a senior and here we go from the Lakeland High School gym. And this tip will be controlled by the Carbondale area Chargers and Preston Casey. And Donato on the perimeter and it will be Casey giving it up. Allen with nowhere to go. And Selitsky beyond the arc. And right now in the opening moments of this game, some good defense by Lakeland. And there's an outside jumper by Preston Casey. And he gives Carbondale area a 2-0 lead. Now the Chiefs will bring the ball across midcourt. And setting it up, Alex Opcharsky wearing number five. Ethan Shea will dish off. Opcharsky with nowhere to go. Joe Dunstone battling for the ball and Lakeland turns it over on their opening possession. And with Carbondale area up to nothing with just about one minute gone by here in the first quarter. Chargers go to work offensively and Allen will flip it in from inside the lane and Carbondale area increases its lead to four nothing. And it's off Charsky matched up there with Preston Casey. And off Charsky will line up the outside jumper. It goes out of bounds. Carbondale area basketball. So the Chargers get out to a quick start and checking into the lineup now is Billy Hazelton. 5'10 junior guard for Lakeland. And here come the Chargers. They are averaging 52 points offensively while giving up 50. Lakeland 51 on offense and allowing 48. Allen from the outside misses. Donato with the rebound and the putback and the jump ball. And Lakeland will have the possession. As the Chiefs will try to get something going down for nothing here with just about two minutes gone by in quarter number one. Lakeland gets the ball inside on a cut to the basket. They look to Billy Hazelton and he draws contact and the foul. Personal foul called on Preston Casey. That's his first and the team's first. And Billy Hazelton will go to the free throw line and misses on the first shot. Hazelton is a 68 percent. Well, let's check that on a 68 percent free throw shooter on the year, converting on 30 of 45 attempts. And Hazelton pens the free throw, and Lakeland is on the board, trailing four to one. I didn't. I didn't understand what kind of fouls was on. Uh, uh, Don, was it Donato? Was it just a turnover, a walk or something? That was on. The, the foul was on Casey. Yeah, yeah. And now Jay Allen, out beyond the arc, will give it up. And Solitsky looks baseline. A lot of traffic oh, yeah. in the lane. Players are battling for it. Lakeland has it. And now the fast break is on as they go coast to coast. And they couldn't finish. That was Antonio Hazelton going to the glass. Allen, left wing. There's that spin move, and he finds oh, the glass. You gotta use the glass. Gotta use the glass. And in transition here in that left wing, he's defended there by Daryl Bennett. And another quick foul.
inbound the basketball. Pass comes in to David Nanowitz, and Nanowitz had his pocket picked by Casey. Casey wants to dish off underneath, and they get right inside to Donato for an easy pair, and the Chargers lead 6-1. to one. Now the Chiefs going to work with running the offense. And Doyle will give it up. Takes a look at Trevor Tellup for the instructions. Danowitz fires inside for Doyle. It's tipped away. Good defense by Carbondale. And there's a pass intercepted by and an easy basket. Right there at the right place at the right time for two. And the Chiefs now trail six to three. Had a look before you pass. Hearing the four minute mark remaining here in the first quarter at Lakeland. And Jay Allen nowhere to go on the perimeter. Casey sets fires oh. and can't, couldn't connect on the outside jumper. There's a ball tip picked off and Bennett will score with a left hand. And Carbondale is out to the lead, eight to three. Lakeland setting it up and near side looks in and push it back out. Good ball movement by Lakeland. Josh Doyle kicks it outside. Open for two. Oh, that's Antonio Hazelton actually wearing number 21. Listed. So he's wearing number 21, Glenn. Eight to six. Lakeland, you're trailing. And Carbondale going to work. As Bennett will dish off. Oh, nice pass. Donato left wide open right there. Excellent pass by Bennett. Good penetration, good look. 10 to 6. Carbondale making the most out of every possession. As Antonio Hazelton dishes off to Billy Hazelton and he misfires. Preston Casey gives it up. And from the outside, off the back iron, no good. And in transition, Hazelton lost the basketball, but he gets it back. Great job on the recovery. And he'll give it up to Billy Hazelton. Around the perimeter they go as Nanowitz and company will run the offense. Antonio Hazelton with, oh, a shot is blocked. He fired up the... Shot was blocked by Donato. Oh, that's a lot. Hazelton got oh. tangled up inside and a traveling violation. I know. I never knew a pirouette was a basketball <laughs> move. <laughs> Ten to six, Carbondale, your leader. As we near two minutes remaining in the first quarter here at Lakeland. There's an outside jumper that is off the mark by Carbondale, but the putback is good, and the Chargers are out to a six-point lead. Jay Allen, a nice position underneath for that offensive rebound. Now that's a key for Lakeland. They have to stop him as Antonio Hazelton gave it up, and they worked about ball outside as they will go baseline now, and an offensive foul is called on Lakeland. I believe 23, uh, which is uh, that will Billy, be Billy Hazelton. Hazelton, yeah. Let's oh, check 33. that. It's on Josh Doyle as it goes up on the scoreboard. And now Carbondale area with the basketball and a six point lead. Allen dishes off. In traffic, forcing it up was Chris Severino. Uh, that's a terrible shot. Can't force the action. Get yeah. have a little bit more patience. When you get to that point, Glenn, you have to kick it back outside. Absolutely. As Antonio Hazelton will inbound the basketball. Yeah. 
And Talon Vitsikovic gives it up. Nanowitz takes control. And there's a pass intercepted by Daryl Bennett. And he will lay it in with a left hand. And with under one minute remaining here in the first quarter, Car Carbondale is out to a 14 to 6 advantage. Now Vitsikovic will give it up. Nathan Hunt also in the ball game. They work it back outside. And with 27 seconds on the clock, time remaining here in the first quarter, Vitsikovic gives it up. Nanowitz outside, 20 seconds to shoot, and on the run, that shot is good by Billy Hazelton. And Lakeland responds with a basket. They trail 14 to 8. Final nine seconds of quarter number one here at Lakeland. Outside jumper is off the mark by Casey. Rebound goes to Nanowitz. And the shot at the buzzer too short. That will bring us to an end of the first quarter here at Lakeland as the Chargers lead the Chiefs 14 to 8 at the end of one quarter of play. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition. At Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. When it comes to keeping your vehicle maintained and problem free, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale has you covered. Call Jerry's for brake service, oil changes, state inspections, quality tires, wheel alignment and rotation to enhance your vehicle's performance. I'm Jerry Jablonowski. Call 282 Tire for dependable automotive service in name brand tires at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Welcome back to Lakeland on the call Spall scoreboard. Second quarter about to get underway with the Chargers leading the Chiefs by the score of 14 to 8. Well, Glenn, it was essential that Carbondale area get off to that yeah. quick start. They got off to a nice start. Lakeland got a little sloppy with the ball. Got a little bit of pressure on by Carbondale. Now Lakeland's got to just settle down, play some st strong defense, and and work their work their offensive sets. Preston Casey dishes off. And Chris Severino. Allen taking control now. Matched up there with Nathan Hunt. Donato kicks it out. Casey launches it. Air ball. Severino tries for the save to get it back inside. Carbondale gets it back, but there's a mad scramble for the ball, and this will be a jump ball. And the possession will go to Lakeland. Chiefs down 14 to 8, trying to make a run right here as Vitsikovic will give it up. Nathan oh, good, nice inside. look. And the shot doesn't drop. Casey has it in transition. Allen thought about a three, drives, puts it up, and the foul. Ran into Nanowitz. We'll see who will get yeah. whistled for the call. Vitsikovic will actually get called for the personal foul. That's his first and team's second. Jay Allen on the stripe. 73% from the line this year, and it rattles out. He has converted on 43 of 60 attempts this year. 18 three-point goals, averaging about 17 points a ball game. Second shot rims out. Players battle for it, and Lakeland has it in transition. Hazelton looking for a cut to the basket, didn't get it. Allen gives it up, and they'll kick it outside. Solitsky driving, and a whistle. It's traveled. He took that little extra step. You get that one in the pros. They, get they call than, it the Euro step. They get more than one in the they pros, get, uh, think, right? <laughs> <laughs> 14 to 8. Carbondale leads with 640 remaining 
here in the first half at Lakeland. Manowitz gives it up. Joe Dunstone defended there by Bennett. And an open look by Vitsikovic from the corner. Manowitz has the rebound. They'll get another shot at the basket. Nathan Hunt can't convert on the outside jumper. Allen cross midcourt for the Chargers. Allen will survey the defense of Lakeland. He'll line it up and launch it too heavy. Battle for the ball. Chiefs come up with it. Good job by Dunstone collecting the rebound. And there's a foul. Bennett checks out. Casey checks back in. Manowitz checks out of the Lakeland lineup. Josh Doyle is in there. Antonio Hazelton defended there by Casey. Hunt to Doyle posting up. Doyle along the baseline, nowhere to go. They'll have to kick it back outside. And an open look is off the mark by Lakeland and Vitsikovic. In transition, here come the Chargers with the basketball and a 14 to 8 lead. Severino with the 15 foot jumper misses. Vitsikovic in transition. Dunstone gave it up. Antonio Hazelton giving it up. He'll get it back. Now he'll drive to the glass, up with the shot, a little bit short, and Allen has the rebound. Coast to coast on the fast break. The Chargers uh, throw it away. Uh, that was a forced pass. Good idea, but it, it, has, to, it has to be perfect. All you got to do is just pull it back out. And there is a timeout on the court with 5.03 remaining in the first half. Carbondale up 14 to 8 as we go to a break. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. Visit them for a complete line of archery accessories, hunting and fishing licenses, live bait, fishing tackle, and LEM meat processing supplies. Call 570-282-4699 and be sure to check out their Facebook page. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports shop well folks with the uh, temperatures hovering around the zero mark ice fishing season is here and the whites crossing sports shop is your number one source for ice fishing accessories in northeastern pennsylvania stop in and see tom for everything you'll need including tackle tip-ups live bait lures hand warmers and much more you'll find it all at the whites crossing sports shop well, Steve, we have a little sloppy basketball game here right now. A lot of turnovers, a lot of forced passes. They got to, both teams got to settle down and run some stuff here. Antonio Hazelton, double teamed right there. They'll work it near side to Hunt, who is open, and it's a little bit too strong from the outside. And Carbondale area with Preston Casey in transition, and a blocking foul will be called on the Chiefs. Tell you, Glenn, for a, a cold Friday night, we have a packed gymnasium well, this here. Is, it's, a, it's a nice crowd up here. Well, they had some uh, se they had senior night. They honored the the little kids and their in, in their uh, leagues that they play. So it was nice. It was a nice pregame thing. Allen down the lane puts up the runner and scores. Sixteen to eight as Carbondale finally gets on the board. And the Chiefs will run their half-court offense. They look inside to Josh Doyle. No whistle on the play. Outside they go. And Lakeland down 16 to 8. Trying to get their offense going in the late stages of the first half. Pass to Doyle in the paint. Nowhere to go. They'll work it back outside. Nathan Hunt open and drains a three. They worked the ball nice that time. They could do that more often if they want to get in this game. Stay in the stay in this game, I should say. 16 to 8. 
A work it out. Selitsky open from downtown. A little too heavy. And Lakeland comes out of the pack with the basketball as Antonio Hazelton will take it on the run and he will set fire and the shot rims out. Open look once again doesn't fall for Hunt. And Carbondale has the basketball coming the other way. Allen will set it up with Preston Casey. Out beyond the arc. Allen puts it up on the run. It's off the back iron, tipped around. Lakeland has it. Nathan Hunt outlet pass to Dunstone. Here he goes for three, and this is off the mark. Inside the bucket is good by Antonio Hazelton. Lakeland is on a run. They trail 16 to 13, and a timeout on the court with 2.45 to play in the first half as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Looking for the right flooring for your home, lifestyle, and budget? Visit Tom's Floor Shop in Childs for the latest advancements in flooring to enhance the rooms in your home. The experts at Tom's Floor Shop are there to help you style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. After the timeout, Carbondale area setting it up offensively and a scoop shot right there by Casey, way off the mark. I, I, have, no, I have no idea what that shot was. This pass outside to Antonio Hazelton, and he's hot from beyond the arc. And we're deadlocked at 16. Chiefs and the Chargers here in this Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup. Well, Carbondale was beginning to pull away, but suddenly Lakeland got momentum. They caught fire. And with 140 to play here in this first half, Carbondale area trying to set it up offensively and a personal foul will be called on Ethan Shea of Lakeland. That's his first and the team's fourth. Carbondale's got to get some movement here. Allen double teamed had his pocket picked by Josh Doyle. And Lakeland with a chance right here as they take it to the glass and Antonio Hazelton will reset it. Dunstone sets fires didn't get the roll. Donato with a big rebound Josh Doyle trying to tie him up. And a jump. Well, let's check it. Josh Doyle will be called for the personal foul. That's his second in the team's fifth. Carbondale Car will inbound the basketball. As Preston Casey will give it up as Stolitsky will survey. Allen in the lane draws a lot of traffic. And from the outside, an open look is good by Preston Casey. And Carbondale has a 19 to 16 lead. Lakeland back to work offensively. Nanowitz to the glass. There it is. Didn't get the shot. Ball is up for grabs. Donato battling for it. Comes up with it. Carbondale with the basketball and a three-point lead with 30 seconds to play in this first half. Play for one. Allen with a pass inside. Uh, intercepted. Where you're going with the basketball. Play for one shot. Antonio Hazelton along the baseline. 
We kick it outside. 15 seconds on the clock. Ball up for grabs, and Preston Casey has it for Carbondale. Nine seconds on the clock. Severino. Allen with four seconds. Quick whistle. And a foul called on the Chiefs. Billy Hazelton whistled for the personal foul. His first, team's sixth. That will force Brian Selitsky to inbound for the Chargers with four seconds on the clock, time remaining here in the first half. Pass goes into Severino. He has to shoot at the buzzer. And that will bring us in to an end of the first half here at Lakeland with the Chargers leading the Chiefs by the score of 19 to 16 on the call Paul scoreboard as we go to a break. Save a check, save a stamp, and save yourself time with Adams Cable Easy Pay. A simple one-time setup of automatic payments from your preferred bank account or credit card is all you need to do to enroll. It's fast, convenient, secure, and best of all, free. Never worry about a late payment again. Adams Cable makes it effortless. For more information regarding online payment options and to enroll in EasyPay, please visit AdamsCable.com. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So, just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 36 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So, just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com. For service, remember, just call Spall. When you need collision repair, turn to the professionals at Vestin's Auto Body and Collision Center to restore your vehicle back to its original condition. For over 34 years, Vestin's has been providing full service collision repair with exceptional customer service. At Vestin's, their motto is, every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. Vestin's Collision Center in Carbondale, the trusted name in collision repair in Northeastern Pennsylvania.
Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. Visit them for a complete line of archery accessories, hunting and fishing licenses, live bait, fishing tackle, and LEM meat processing supplies. Call 570-282-4699 and be sure to check out their Facebook page. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports shop. Welcome back to the Lakeland Gym for Adams Cable High School Basketball and we are at halftime in today's Lackawanna League Division 3 matchup with the Chargers leading the Chiefs 19 to 16. Low scoring affair thus far. Carbondale led at the end of one quarter of play 14 to 8, while Lakeland rebounded in quarter number two, outscoring Carbondale area 8 to 5, but the Chiefs trail at the half 19 to 16. So, Glenn, when you uh, look at both uh, ball clubs in this first half, kind of a uh, sloppy first half of basketball for both teams. Yes, it was. It was sloppy uh, ball handling and force trying to force the action and uh, just not very very good basketball uh, they have to slow the game down a little bit once they once they get the ball on the offensive side of the court look for the rook to run run some of their offensive sets to because they're really just uh, just forcing the action now and that's and that's not good so I, I would think that uh, carbon Carbondale jumped out and they looked like they were ready to get going but then they then they threw the ball away a few times on on, on forced things there's you know there's no reason to throw them and, and Lakeland again the uh, same thing turnovers they they both have about between the two teams there's about 14 or 15 turnovers so uh, 
So uh, it, it, they've just got to protect the ball a little bit better. Uh, so for for La for Lakeland, uh, Antonio Hazelton has three field goals and a three for nine. Billy Hazelton has a field goal and a foul shot for three, and Nathan Hunt uh, has a, a three, a three, and a foul shot for so for 16 points. They have uh, 12 total rebounds. They have six turnovers, and they have uh, six personal fouls. For Carbondale, Jay Allen has three field goals. Uh, Daryl Bennett has two. Preston Casey has a two and a three for five. Tyler Donato has two field goals for four for a total of 19. Uh, uh, they have totaled uh, 12 rebounds also, but they have seven turnovers and they committed three personal fouls in that, in that uh, 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 half of the game. So uh, a sloppy first half. Got to get straight. Got to straighten that out when you go and talk about it in the, in the locker room. Both kind of come out and play a little bit better defense and a, and a, and more of a, I would say slow down, but get your offense going. Just don't run up and down the floor and play helter skelter. And that's what uh, it, it, that seemed to be in the last three minutes of that half, Steve. On the call, Spall scoreboard here at halftime. It is Carbondale area 19 and Lakeland 16. We'll step aside and go to a quick break and return with more from Lakeland in a moment. Napa know how. Napa know how. Your local Napa dealer, Carbondale Auto Parts, has been serving the area for over 38 years with quality automotive replacement parts, tools, and accessories. Experience the Napa know-how difference with great service you've come to know and trust from the staff at Carbondale Auto Parts, your Napa know-how folks. Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how, Napa know-how. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS, Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Providing the ultimate in professional service is a tradition. At Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Carbondale. For more than 50 years, families in Carbondale and its surrounding area have used our two Hospital Street and 74 North Main Street locations for a traditional service, cremation or memorial services, or a service of personal preference. Contact Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated to handle every detail. Welcome back to Lakeland on the call Spall scoreboard. The Chargers lead the Chiefs 19 to 16 here at halftime alongside Glenn Muskowski, Chris Nanfeld, and Clara Seymour handling our live edition of Adams Cable High School basketball and Sal Balzoni from Frankie Carl Productions running camera. I'm Steve Young. Great to have you on board tonight for all of the action of this Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup. And uh, Glenn will see how things play out here in the second half if uh, teams could slow it down a little bit and get into uh, some kind of uh, productive rhythm. Well, Steve, I, I'm looking at the, the my sheet here. Uh, what the, what Carbondale has done is they have held uh, uh, Dunstone scoreless for the first half of the game, and that's big for them if, if they want if they want to win this game. Now, I don't suspect that he's gonna, he's going to be scoreless at the end of the half because he's 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 a good enough player. To, to, to put the ball in the basket. They, they did not allow him to shoot the trees like they did the first game. Well, coming into this game, he has uh, connected on 39 three-point shots. So a good job defensively 
in that uh, first half by Carbondale area. And in the junior varsity game, by the way, if you're just tuning in, it was Lakeland winning by 10 over the Chargers, 35 to 25. A lot of talking. You must be in a locker room. Well, Carbondale's just coming out now, but uh, a lot of X's and O's. We'll see how how they this changes in the second half. Well, Tom Morrow, coaching Carbondale area in his third year, and uh, Lakeland uh, still in the locker room. So Trevor Tellup, a uh, little bit of an extended locker room session with his ball club overall at 10 and 7 they're both at 10 and 7 coming in and when you uh, look at all of the stats even the uh, offensively and defensively Glenn they're they're, they're, they're right pretty there. Right. they're pretty, pretty even, even. Yeah. yeah well for Carbondale area keep in mind though uh, Oscar Martinez is, is out of the butt uh, out for the year with an injury and Ethan Bruin out for this game and hopefully uh, Ethan Bruin will be back for uh, yeah. action next week when the Chargers return and they will be at Old Forge. So I can't remember what game Steve but I, 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 I came into the game and I saw Martinez on crutches. I, I don't know what happened to him. maybe maybe an ankle or a knee or something but I never did find out what that was but I know he's he's been on the on the uh, list of ineligibles for uh, for a, for quite a while now so he he must have a season ending injury I would assume well the remaining games on the schedule for Carbondale they will be at Old Forge coming up on Tuesday the 7th and that's not easy ever easy it's down there. never and uh, then on Friday February 10th they will take on Lackawanna Trail at home Carbondale area will go on the road on Valentine's Day to take on Holy Cross last year Carbondale gave Holy Cross quite a game at uh, on the road we'll see how things play out this year and then the Chargers will end their regular season by hosting the Dunmore Bucks for Lakeland their remaining games uh, Lakeland will be at Holy Cross coming up on Tuesday the 7th Lakeland will play Old Forge at home here on the 10th they will take on uh, they will be at Mid Valley on Valentine's Day and then end their regular season here at home taking on the Riverside Vikings so still some basketball to be played but a couple of weeks left in the season Glenn and then the playoffs are wow. right around it's, the corner it, it on just, the horizon. Just, just flying by Steve uh, you know I, I got in the car today and I'm saying oh my gosh we're going up to Lakeland uh, what is it going to be like and, and I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't fooled at all it's cold up here and that wind is blowing. When I got out of the car, I wasn't sure if I was at Lakeland or Green Bay. Really, it was that it was that cold. So yeah, it is cold, and it's going to go down to zero. Oh, we'll but get through it. Two I, days, I said, and we're we're good. I said uh, to my wife, I said, get the logs on the fire, and then in two days we'll turn the air conditioning on. <laughs> That's what's going to happen too. If you're just tuning in on the call, Spall scoreboard, the Chargers lead the Chiefs, 19 to 16, as we get set for third quarter action. And Carbondale area will inbound the basketball to start the third quarter of play. As Jay Allen will inbound, and that pass is intercepted by Billy Hazelton right to the glass and missed the layup. Well, that was a chance for Lakeland to get a yeah, lot of well, momentum to start the third quarter. A nice play, but you, you, you have to finish. Selitsky throws it away along the baseline. Was looking for Preston Casey, and he wasn't there. And the Chargers turn it over, and Lakeland now down 19 to 16. Will set it up. Two turnovers in 30 seconds. Not even 30 seconds. Can't start that way. Say will bounce pass. Say defended there by Allen. Joe Dunstone crossover dribble will give it up. Hazelton looks inside Doyle's got the bucket. Pinpoint passing results in the field goal and the Chiefs are down by one. Lazy defense on the part of Carbonell that time. Carbondale defense area. doesn't stop when the bike picks up the ball. You got to put your hands up in the air to stop the pass also. 
Chargers with Allen way out beyond the arc. He'll spin, tries to go down the leg, double team, and will fire the ball to Casey. Casey couldn't finish, put it back up, not there. And Ethan Shea lost the basketball. It was picked off by Casey, and he has an easy basket for the Chargers, and they lead 21 to 18. Antonio Hazelton on the run. The shot is off the back iron. Allen with the rebound. Allen flips to Casey. Who almost walked. Casey lines it up, and it's an air ball. Great save by Donato, but it goes into the hands of Billy Hazelton. Hazelton was fouled on the play. As he was driving along the left wing. Second foul on Casey. And that is the first team foul on the Chargers here in the second half. Billy Hazelton will line up a three. It's off the mark. Ball goes out of bounds, and Carbondale will have the possession with just about two minutes gone by here in the third quarter. Right, Carbondale's got to look, look, look inside a little bit. You got to get, they have to post up uh, Donato. Now, we don't want him out there. Donato, Casey will take control, defended there by Antonio Hazelton. Darrell Bennett drives, forces it up, offensive foul. Now for Lakeland. That's Bennett's third. Again, another, another try to force the ball. Move the ball around, get, get your shots. Antonio Hazelton, 5'11", senior guard, dishes off. Dunstone looks inside. Doyle off balance. Shot didn't fall. In transition, Daryl Bennett, coast to coast. Here's the layup. Didn't get the roll. Allen battling for the ball. And a foul. Foul will be called on Lakeland. And, and Ethan Shea, that's his second. Now, if you notice, Glenn, the Lakeland Chiefs are wearing the Lakeland Lakers jerseys. You didn't notice. And underneath, Donato with a power move to the that's, basket. That's what he's there for, to make that power move. Get him the ball on the block. And the Chargers increase their lead to 23 to 18. Ethan Shea drives, goes up with the left hand and scores, and the basket is good and the foul. Ethan Shea, the 5'11 senior guard, with a great move to the basket. And the lead is down to three for Carbondale, and Shea will go to the line. Lakeland as a team shooting at 64% this year from the foul line and Shea converts. And the lead is down to two points for Carbondale. And on the inbound pass, they were looking for Selitsky. The pass was too long and Carbondale turns it over. Again, an unforced error for no reason. Go get the ball. Just go get it. On the call, small scoreboard, Chargers 23, Chiefs 21. Lakeland on the inbound. Pass goes to Shea. He lines it up and misfires on the outside jumper. Allen will bring the ball across midcourt. Allen defended by Shea. Selitsky out in three-point land. Open look right there for Severino, and he knocks down a three. And it's 26 to 21, Carbondale area. Antonio Hazelton will take control for Lakeland. Hunt will dish off. Billy Hazelton. Now Antonio works it back out on the perimeter. Shea to the glass, up with the shot, and he got hacked. Ethan Shea on the stripe for the Chiefs as they trail 26 to 21. 
Personal foul called on Brian Selitsky. That's his first and the team's fourth. And the second shot is all net. Now Selitsky will trigger the ball in play to Allen. Allen double teamed and Lakeland forces the turnover. The problem with Allen on that is he's not going to the basketball. He wants the ball to come to him. No, you go get it. And that's good defense on the Lakeland part. Billy Hazelton will survey the defense of Carbondale. Hazelton looks inside. Josh Doyle almost lost it and he will be forced to kick it back outside. Nathan Hunt will launch it and Drains a three. Nathan Hunt with the three ball, and Lakeland is now down by one, 26 to 25. Carbondale loses it. Wow. And with 344 remaining, we have a timeout on the court on this Paul Spall scoreboard. Chargers 26, Lakeland 25, we will go to a break. When it comes to keeping your vehicle maintained and problem free, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale has you covered. Call Jerry's for brake service, oil changes, state inspections, quality tires, wheel alignment and rotation to enhance your vehicle's performance. I'm Jerry Jablonowski. Call 282 Tire for dependable automotive service in name brand tires at Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Looking for the right flooring for your home, lifestyle, and budget? Visit Tom's Floor Shop and Childs for the latest advancements in flooring to enhance the rooms in your home. The experts at Tom's Floor Shop are there to help you style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, vinyl, and professional installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Welcome back to the Lakeland High School gym in this Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup. On the call, small scoreboard with 344 to play here in the third. Chargers 26, Lakeland 25. Steve, uh, Lakeland just simply out hustling Carbondale now and playing good defense and Carbondale just very sloppy with the ball. Billy Hazelton open from the outside, couldn't connect. Preston Casey with the rebound. Casey matched up there with Billy Hazelton or Antonio Hazelton, I should say. Donato dishes off. Jay Allen, here comes a three. It doesn't fall. Rebound goes to Antonio Hazelton as he will survey the defense now of Carbondale. He will line it up and knock it down. Antonio Hazelton with a three ball. And the Chiefs have the lead, 28-26. And, 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 and uh, the Chargers just let Lakeland back into the game. By, 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 by very sloppy. Uh, Chargers look inside to Donato. He took it to the glass and couldn't finish. But there is a foul called on Lakeland. Second personal Billy. foul on Billy Hazelton. Tyler Donato on the strike for the Chargers, a 65% free throw shooter, averaging about 12 points a ball game. And the Lakeland lead is one, 28-27. Carbondale has to settle down. And for Lakeland to be in the game, Lakeland has to continue to play defense the, the way they're playing. So we're going to see what happens here. And Donato ties the game at 28. Chargers and the Chiefs battling here on Adams Cable High School basketball. Josh Doyle dishes off. Lakeland patient offensively. Nathan Hunt, nowhere to go. They look inside, back out they go. We're tied at 28, Chiefs and the Chargers.
And Hunt will drive the baseline, kick it outside. Antonio Hazelton open, couldn't convert. And that players battle for it. Antonio comes up with it and draws a crowd. He's going to have to work it back outside and reset the offense. Antonio Hazelton. Now inside they go. Billy Hazelton. Got himself in there too deep. As Hunt will line up the outside jump shot and it doesn't drop. Daryl Bennett with the rebound. Clock winding down here in the third quarter of play. 135 and counting. There's a ball tip. Doyle has it. Great job by Lakeland in transition. Here is Antonio Hazelton. Couldn't finish on the layup. Outlet pass to Preston Casey. Casey carried the basketball and turned it over. Again. He never brought the ball. He never brought the ball back down. How could you carry the ball if you don't put it back to the floor? Makes no sense. If he calls it a walk, I see it. Tom Morrow out on the court, not happy with the call. He wanted an explanation from the official. Lakeland 28, that, Carbondale 28. He, he calls that a walk. It's, there's no problem. Antonio Hazelton dished off. And now Joe Dunstone will flip it outside. As we near one minute remaining here in the third quarter. Great to have you with us tonight for this great basketball matchup between Lakeland and Carbondale on Adams Cable High School basketball. Dunstone way out in three point land. Look inside and they throw it away. They're trying to find bits of Kovic. Pass was long and in transition now with 42 seconds on the clock. Time remaining in the third. Allen down the lane and was fouled. See, the problem with Allen, he looks to get fouled rather than looking to make the shot and then get fouled and have the traditional three point play. He's looking to get fouled and then he's trying to throw it up. It's, it's that those are not going to go in. Jay Allen, six foot one senior, very good free throw shooter, converts. And Carbondale has taken a one point lead. You ever feel like you're, you're <laughs> in an earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> Second yeah. shot is good. Is we're, young we're in young fans, we're, we're having, they're having a ball. Good for yeah, them. We are in the student section. They folks. are having a ball. And things are rocking here tonight <laughs> at the Lakeland Gym. Manowitz on the perimeter to Antonio Hazelton with a runner. Didn't get it to fall. Manowitz with a big rebound. They work it outside. Open look. And it doesn't fall for Nathan Hunt and a whistle. With 14.5 seconds to play here in the third quarter. A foul on Selitsky. <laughs> 30 to 28 on the call small scoreboard. Carbondale, your leader. And Antonio Hazelton will look to trigger the ball in play. Hazelton with the long yeah. inbound pass to Dunstone. Well, he's been shut down all, all night. And a whistle. Time and timeout called by Lakeland with 10 seconds to play in the third quarter. And the Chiefs trail 30 to 28 here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. Visit them for a complete line of archery accessories, hunting and fishing licenses, live bait, fishing tackle, and LEM meat processing supplies. Call 570-282-4699. And be sure to check out their Facebook page. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Shop. Ice fishing season is here and the White's Crossing Sports Shop is your number one source for ice fishing accessories in northeastern Pennsylvania. Stop in and see Tom for everything you'll need including tip ups, tackle, live bait lures and hand warmers and much more. You'll find it all at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Long in the bottom pass to Vincent Kovic. <laughs> Couldn't connect on the long three. Selitsky collects the carom. 
Four seconds to play in the third. Allen at the buzzer. It rims out. Ball tipped back up, and that will bring us to an end of the third quarter of play here at Lakeland as the Chargers will take a two-point lead into the fourth quarter, 30-28 to 28, on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Welcome back to Lakeland as we get ready to tip off the fourth quarter of play in this Lackawanna League Division Three high school basketball matchup. And on the call, small scoreboard, Carbondale leads by two, 30 to 28 as we start the fourth quarter of play. Lakeland outscored Carbondale in that fourth quarter, 12 to 11 in a close matchup. Fasten your seatbelts, my friends. Here we go. Yep. Who's gonna who's gonna make the fewest mistakes and who's gonna hustle more on the defensive end? Billy Hazelton, 5'10 junior guard, averaging about eight points a ball game inbounding. And Talon Vitsikovic will work one-on-one -on -one against Daryl Bennett. Nanowitz outside the arc. And Vitsikovic will dish off. Open look from the outside. Doesn't fall for Nathan Hunt. Nanowitz with a big rebound. Lakeland will keep it going. Great defense by Tyler Donato to knock the ball away. And that will force Lakeland to inbound the basketball. Hunt takes the inbound pass defended there by Allen. Hunt will put on the brakes. And oh, he's trapped. He needs help. And they will get the ball to Billy Hazelton. He will look inside. Ball knocked away. Lakeland lost the possession. They were looking for Nanowitz inside, and Lakeland turns yeah. it over. I think he was he's, he's got double teamed there and just dropped, knocked the ball out of bounds, knocked it off from him. Preston Casey and Daryl Bennett to set it up. Allen lines up a three, and it rims out. Donato battling for the ball. The Chiefs have it. Great job by Vitsikovic to come up with the basketball. Billy Hazelton taking control with a runner down the lane off the back iron. Ball up for grabs. Lakeland has it and jump ball. Carbondale possession. Ball just doesn't seem to want to go into this half, Steve. Both ways. Yeah, low scoring third quarter, 12 to 11 as Lakeland outscored Carbondale. And here in the fourth, Daryl Bennett, 5'10 junior guard, will give it up. Selitsky to Allen. Allen in traffic, forces up the shot, didn't get it to fall. Donato follows it up. 32 28 on a big basket by Carbondale area. Nathan Hunt defended there by Allen. Hunt couldn't pull the trigger, thought he was going to. Uh, have an open look there, but they get the ball inside quickly to Billy Hazelton for an easy basket. Lakeland trails by a pair, 32 to 30 here in the fourth quarter on the call Spall scoreboard. Darrell Bennett gives it up. Selitsky and Bennett. Good defense by Lakeland. In your face defense. Casey surveys the defense of Lakeland as the clock runs here in the fourth quarter with 542 left. Casey lines up a jumper off the iron. No good. Vitsikovic with the rebound. Outlet pass. Joe Dunstone drives up with the shot. It's an air ball tipped up. No, it didn't fall for the Chiefs. Coming the other way on the fast break. It's Bennett. Casey drives the baseline back outside. Bennett. With a short jumper, real short. He came up empty. Turn around. Got it. Well, Carbondale battling on the boards. 
And they, they are now up by four, 34 to 30. As we have exactly five minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. And another timeout on the court. Called by Lakeland with 457 left here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 36 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com. For service, remember, just call Spall. Welcome back to Lakeland. Here in the fourth quarter of play, with under five minutes left, it is 34 to 30. Carbondale, your leader. And a timeout was called by the Chiefs. So, Glenn, this might come down to who has the basketball it last. It could be, Steve, and who, who protects the ball the best on, on the offensive end. Everything now from here on in is, is critical. You have you have to box out. You have to rebound. You have to play good defense. You got to protect the basketball on the offensive end. One mistake could be costly. One good play could be a win. Clock starts to run here in the fourth quarter. And it is Lakeland back on the offensive attack down by four. Oh. They work the ball into Car Doyle. Carbonell in his zone now. Doyle dishes off. And ball was knocked away, and Lakeland will have the possession. Carbonell's in his zone, but they got it. They have to watch uh, uh, Hazelton, and they have to watch Dunstone, who hasn't put a point on the board yet. Inbound pass to Doyle. Outside they go. Vitsikovic with the jumper. Yes! Yep. It's for three. And the lead is one for Carbondale, 34-33. Now the Chargers with Preston Casey defended there by Antonio Hazelton. Selitsky, nowhere to go with the basketball. He's forced to give it wow. up. Darrell Bennett on a drive, dishes off to Allen for two. Good play, good offense, good pre penetration and dump off for a nice basket. And Carbondale is back to a three-point advantage. Lakeland running its half-court offense. Talon Vitsikovic, and now Josh Doyle out beyond the arc. Outside jumper way off the mark by Vitsikovic. Rebound goes to Daryl Bennett. 36-33, the Chargers lead on the call small scoreboard. Carbondale right to the basket, up with the shot was Casey. They get it out to Bennett. Tom Morrow says, let's bring it up beyond the three-point line. And with the three-point lead, Carbondale area. I gotta look for, you got to look for Allen on the block here. Yeah, but he's just standing around. He's not doing anything. On a drive to the basket. Bennett came up empty and Carbondale lost the possession. Ethan Shea will trigger the ball in play for Lakeland down by three. You see Allen's just standing on the block telling the people come to him. No you go to them. You, you make your move. You get set up on the block. Move. You got to move a little bit. You're too easy to guard if you're standing still. Billy Hazelton fouled right in front of the official. With 254 left. That's, that's big. That's Bennett's fourth. Thirty-six thirty-three. Lakeland trailing. And they get the ball into Doyle. Doyle banks it up off the glass, didn't get it to fall. Trying to go for the save was Ethan Shea. And Carbondale will have the basketball. Now this is the key possession if they can go up by five. 
Chargers with Daryl Bennett and Selitsky. Selitsky beyond the arc. Get it into Allen. Double team. Back to Selitsky. He'll drive. Tried to kick it outside. Intercepted. I don't know where he was trying to go there. Vitsikovic you can't picked leave it off. The, you can't leave the ground. You got you got to stay 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 on the ground. Antonio Hazelton off a screen. Looks to drive. He'll give it up from the corner. Vitsikovic with a three ball. And we're tied at 36. Lakeland and Carbondale with two minutes left. Now right here, Lakeland fans chanting for defense as the Chargers you, will set it up. Ethan Shea is, is putting a, a great defensive effort on Allen. Blocking foul will be called on Carbondale. And that's the third. Nope. Uh, let's check this. Uh, that would be the, on Doyle. Doyle. Josh Doyle will be called for the personal foul. That's his third. Team's fourth. And the clock down to 135 remaining. And Daryl Bennett will give it up. Preston Casey looking inside. Lost the basketball. It's up for grabs. Bennett comes up with it. And as we're tied at 36 right here, Glenn, Carbondale is going to uh, spread it out a bit. Don't, don't get out there too far. Donato with a great screen, but that was Bennett taking it to the glass yeah, and came up a, empty. But not a good shot. Not a good shot. Now, Glenn, with almost one minute left, what do you do if you're Lakeland? Well, you, you look for a good shot. Take your time. Be patient. And a timeout is called by now, the Chiefs. They may go for one right here. here. They may go for one here. Uh, you have plenty of time. You're going to take. You might. You might take the lead with next shot. You want to be up, uh, but you got. You got to look for a good one. I mean, you know, Carbondale just forced that effort up that last. That last shot. And again, you you can tell by just by looking here. We're on the side of this bank board, Steve. And you could tell that he wasn't even going towards the basket. He was going towards the corner of the bank board because the ball, he bounced it straight, bounced it off the bank board and it came back straight. Not at all, didn't even go anywhere near the, near the basket. So Carbonell's helter-skelter uh, uh, offenses might hurt them here if they don't, uh, if they don't uh, stop Lakeland. Right now, I, I, I think Lakeland might play for one. On the call, small scoreboard, 54 seconds left. We're tied at 36. The Chiefs and the Chargers. Lakeland will inbound the basketball. Lakeland looking. They get the ball into Vitsikovic. And Vitsikovic, good ball handler, will work it outside. And Nathan Hunt will take control. Hunt defended there by Selitsky. And with 36 seconds to play, no, you can't do that. You can't lean on him. Hazelton will dish off under the basket to Billy Hazelton, and a whistle. Foul will be called on Carbondale, and Billy Hazelton will go to the charity stripe with 28 seconds to play. Billy Hazelton is a 68% free throw shooter on the season. Personal foul is on uh, uh, Tyler Tyler Donato, yeah. I believe. I don't even think he was near that play. And Lakeland has the lead, 37-36. Billy Hazelton with the second free throw shot. And the lead is two for the Chiefs. 38-36, final 27 seconds. Carbondale has to act quickly. Bennett cross midcourt, and there's a timeout called by Carbondale. While we have the opportunity 
We'd like to thank a lot of great people. We'd like to thank the Lakeland School District, including Athletic Director Brian Wagner, the Lakeland Technology Department, and the Lakeland Maintenance Department, and of course, Adams Cable Service for all the great work they do moving our broadcast forward, providing the live video for you each and every game. Thank you to General Manager Wendy Hartman for advancing us forward each and every year. Thank you so much. Stephanie Kemmerer, our Marketing Director. Kyle Kemmerer, our Head in technician on the live video Joe Ross what a job he's done this year anytime we needed him thank you so much Joe Chris Nanfelt thank you Chris and Claire Seymour they handle our live audio we really our live video we really appreciate it and of course all of the great camera work, camera work provided by Frankie Carl Productions and Sal Bolzoni Sal thank you very much for all of the great work you do each and every game we really appreciate it and well, boy, do we have a classic <laughs> going here at Lakeland. 38-36, the Chiefs lead here in the fourth. And the Chargers will have possession of the basketball with 22 seconds now, remaining. Do we, did they go for the tie or did they go for the win? Uh -huh. Well, I guess you take the best shot you get. Right. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it's not going to be easy because Lakeland is really playing some solid defense this half. Inbounds pass. I've got to move for it. Allen will be defended by Ethan Shea on the inbound. And they get the ball to Casey. 20 seconds left. Allen. And do we have a foul? Yeah, foul on 21, I think. So Antonio Hazelton called for the foul. That, that, that's probably a good foul because they're, sure. they're not in, not in the bonus yet. And Brian Selitsky will inbound. Selitsky looking, gets it to Allen, 15 to shoot. Allen defended there by Josh Doyle. Allen trying to drive and another foul with eight seconds. Well, that's only the sixth. And we will have another timeout on the court. With 8.6 seconds to play, Lakeland leading 38 to 36. Coming right down to the wire in this Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup between the Chiefs and the Chargers. Coach, he's got to pull one out of the fire now. Now, but you got. Yeah, yeah, and I tell you what, Lakeland did did the right thing. They had they had fouls to give. They let the clock run. They committed a foul. They let the clock run even more. They committed another foul. Now they're down to what? Eight seconds? Maybe? I think that's what it said. Eight on seconds. There. So now who gets the basketball for Carbondale on the inbound? Well, they, they, you got to look you know, for a score. You got to look for Allen. Uh, and uh, well, he, he, even uh, uh, Pre uh, Preston Casey, who could, who could hit the long shot. But. Uh, Allen's probably going to take the ball, and if he takes the ball, and it's going to be hard for him to get it back. Uh, so you got to look for you got to look for uh, your the best shot you can get, one way or the other. Because you because well the next one you go on the foul line, I don't Lakeland can't foul now. 38-36 Lakeland with 8.6 seconds remaining. Daryl Bennett will inbound for the Chargers. And they get the ball to Allen. Allen off the turnaround. Didn't get it. The putback by Donato. And we're tied. 38-38. Wow. Oh. With 2.8 seconds left. Tyler Donato. With the bucket. As the drama continues to unfold here at the Lakeland High School gym. Now you have you have Lakeland who's got Vitsakovich who can shoot well from the outside. Hazelton who can shoot well from the outside. And of course uh, Dunstone who still I according to my stuff have hasn't scored the, this game. But he still is a threat because he has, he's had a number of three threes this year. So you're looking for a pass to half court. Uh, and maybe a Hail Mary, but you don't have an awful lot of time. Uh, do you want to throw it long? You can, I guess. 
There's all there. You always have this play where most most teams have it, where you would throw the ball, have a guy come running up to the top of the key, throw the ball high to him, and have him control it left to right or for or forward for three guys coming down for a shot at the ball at the basket. Uh, with with uh, what three seconds left, two point something left. It's going to be it's it's. It's going to be how we're going to do it. I, let's see what Lakeland's got here. Well, here we go, my friends. 3.3 seconds left. Well, I, we're tied I, at 38 yeah. on the call. Small scoreboard. I, uh, Antonio Hazel. Looks like, it looks like a, a, a hurdling race here or something. Nanowitz is going to fire the ball to Hunt and Hunt from half court off the mark. And we're going to overtime. Well, isn't that what we should do with this game? It, it's only fit. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Carbondale and Lakeland deadlocked at 38 after four quarters of play on Adams Cable High School basketball. You deserve expert heating, cooling, and plumbing service. So just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son has been serving Northeastern Pennsylvania with expert customer service for 36 years in all phases of residential and commercial heating, cooling, and plumbing. So just call Spall for the expert service you deserve. Visit them at callspall.com. For service, remember, just call Spall. Welcome back to Lakeland. We are going to overtime. And, and so we should. This a is great. A tough, tough game for both teams. Go to overtime. Let's see who's, who's got something left in the tank. Glenn, how about this? At the end of the first quarter, Carbondale had a 14 to 8 advantage. Carbondale has been outscored in every quarter. 8 to 5 in the second, 12 to 11 in the third, 10 to 8 in the fourth. We're tied at 38. Yeah, there you go. What a game. Well, usually when you get Lakeland Carbondale together, yeah. it's always yeah, it's, uh, it's always it's a battle. Always good game. They always have competitive games, a lot of fun, and we are going to the overtime. Carbondale defeated Lakeland in the previous matchup at the Petronas Gym, 49 to 46. We're tied at 38 as we go to a four-minute overtime period. Tyler Donato uh, we have, at see. center court, along with Josh Doyle. Das, Josh Doyle has four fouls for Lakeland, and uh, Daryl Bennett has four for Carbonell. And this tip is controlled by Jay Allen, and the Chargers will have the first possession here in overtime. Slitsky way out beyond the arc. And it's Bennett looking for Allen. Near side, Casey. And the Chargers go right inside to a wide open Tyler Donato. That was a nice movement on the offense. Finally, some nice movement and a nice wide open shot. And now, Carbondale opens up a two point lead, 40 to 38. Now Lakeland's got to do the same down this end. Billy Hazelton on a drive to the basket, had the shot rim out, ball up for grabs. And Donato has it for the Chargers. And as we near three minutes left here in overtime, Carbondale area back on the offensive okay. attack with a two point lead. Let's run, uh, run the same stuff, do it again. Bennett defended there by Billy Hazelton. Here's Allen in traffic, fouled on the play. Nathan Hunt called for That's the personal first. foul. That's his first, first. team seventh. Allen on the stripe will check his numbers from the free throw line. A two for four. As three. he converts to three give Carbondale a 41 to 38 advantage. And the second shot is good. 42-38. Antonio Hazelton will size up the defense of the Chargers. 
I like I like Carbondale going back into the man to man because there was too many open shots for Lakeland. Josh Doyle. Now Lakeland's got to look to move the basketball. Doyle on the perimeter. Oh, and Nathan Hunt lines up an outside jumper and it rims out. Rebound will go to the Chargers. Ball is up for grabs. It's loose. Battling for it was Vistakovich. See, that's, that's and a, a foul. That is a terrible, terrible pass underneath the other team's basket. Hold the ball. Just bring, bring it back and take it down yourself. Third personal foul on Preston Casey of Carbondale. Eighth team foul. That will place Talon Vitsikovic on the stripe. He is shooting this year about 52% from the line, averaging five a game. He's a 5'11 sophomore guard and misfires on the free throw. Carbondale almost lost the basketball. It was kicked. Uh, Carbondale's lucky. Carbondale will They're keep not, the basketball. They, gotta, they have to protect the ball. You have a four point lead. You got to protect the ball. Go down here, go get to the line, if nothing else. Well, Daryl Bennett will look to inbound. 42 38. Carbondale with the lead and the basketball. And the ball was taken away by Antonio Hazelton. He will put on the brakes and put up the shot. It's short. Didn't get it. Lakeland can't buy a basket right now. Bennett dishing off to not a wide open for an easy pair, and it's 44 38. Antonio Hazelton giving it up. You can't, don't give him any threes. And they work the ball. Oh, good block. Side to Ethan Shea. Good ball block. Was blocked. Out of bounds, and Lakeland will inbound with 129 left. All right, here, in, in come three-point shooters right there. Uh, Dunstone and Vitsikovic. And this inbound pass knocked away by Casey. And with a minute and 29 seconds remaining, Inbound pass taken by Josh Doyle. He will bring it out beyond the arc and need help. Antonio Hazelton will survey the defense of Carbondale. Hazelton looking to drive, dishing off underneath Doyle for two. Great pass and the basket as the Chiefs narrowed the deficit to four points, 44 to 40 with a minute 10 seconds left. Well, eight. It's uh, it's uh, up to Carbondale to protect the basketball. It's up to Lakeland to go and get it. And uh, they are going to put pressure on it. You cannot uh, for for one second think that you're, you're not going to be double teamed anytime people cross or bringing the ball up. If they start chasing the ball, you just got to find the, the open person for, if you're Carbondale. If you're Lakeland, you've got to get the ball. But you can't, you, you, if you, it's foul. If you foul, you have to foul. Hope that Carbondale misses. So it's right down the wire. What do we got? About a minute and some to left. Oh, it's coming right down to the wire now. Is uh, Carbondale is up by four. And There's 12. Carbondale has 12 turnovers this half, and and, and a bunch of them uh, in this fourth quarter, or and overtime. They not be getting. I got to protect the ball. Carbondale with a four point lead will inbound the basketball and face pressure applied by Lakeland with a minute 10 seconds remaining. Watch a double team in the corner. And Good the ball to Allen. Allen had it taken uh, away by Antonio Hazelton. Uh, Hazelton wants to go to the glass. The spin move tied up and he will kick it outside. Still in the lane. As Hunt will give it up and with under a minute left. They fire the ball on the far side. Here's Hunt with an open look. It's Ooh. out of bounds. Bad bounce off the back. Thank you. The one time you wanted to come back, it goes over. They had See, an open look, but they couldn't convert. See, again. 
as Casey will face pressure by Lakeland, and we may have another timeout on the court. Who called timeout? No, we have a foul. Let's check this. The official went what, over to what, the what, scorers. What, table. What, what was going on? Nothing happened. Nothing was happening. With 45 seconds remaining. Well, what, what was that all about? Why would he make them take that ball in bounds again? So that's that's a bad move for Frank. 44 to 40, Carbondale leads, and a traveling violation called on the Chargers. Boy. Boy. Wow. That would give Lakeland the bat the inbound. See, I don't like that. I don't know why the referee stopped the game there. That that that's that's unfortunate for Carbondale. Okay, Lakeland's got to Get some points and get them quick. Josh Doyle, nowhere to go with the basketball. He'll have to put it on the floor, and he'll hand it off to Antonio Hazelton. 29 seconds and counting time remaining. And on the drive, Billy Hazelton goes to the glass and draws contact wow. and a foul. The referee, no call underneath. 24 seconds see, left. I can never see that call when a referee's behind everything and the guy's underneath is in front of it and sees nothing and he sees something over the back. I don't I don't see that. But anyway. <laughs> Billy Hazelton converts for Lakeland. And it's 44-41 as the Chiefs trail. And Hazelton will have another free throw toss on the way. The Chiefs are down by two, 44, 42. Carbondale with 24 seconds left. They have to protect the basketball. And a quick foul to stop the clock with 22.7 seconds. In, in, that, in this situation, you're going to try to get this ball to your good foul shooters. Third personal foul on Billy Hazelton. Daryl Bennett on the strike, a 42% free throw shooter. It's off the back iron. Donato follows it up, and the bucket is good. And Carbondale leads 46 to 42. Lakeland quickly with Antonio Hazelton going to the basket, dishing off to Josh Doyle. Underneath, Hazelton lost the basketball. It's up for grabs. The clock, the big factor now, though, with 5.6 seconds remaining. Uh, oh, woo traveling violation. Well, that's a, well, that's a, that's all right for Carbondale. And there will be a timeout on the court with 5.6 seconds remaining. Well, I look, uh, I look at Glenn. He has one, two, three, four, five, six. He had six call small plays of the game. <laughs> yep. And I know that Tyler Donato will be involved in the call small play of the game. Absolutely. Yeah. Right now, that's it. If something else happens out of the ordinary. That basket, mm -hmm. that bucket by yeah, Tyler yeah, Donato yeah, sure, will right be now. our call spall play of the game. As the Chargers lead this one 46 to 42 here in overtime. Well, it is I wonder if Lakeland's got any more timeouts left. If they don't and the ball goes in the basket, pick it up, walk out of, out of bounds, but don't throw it in. There's only, there's only what? Few seconds left, five seconds left, 5.6. 5 5 46 42. Let them take it in. They don't, they actually, they don't, they don't have, they don't have to throw the ball in if, 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 if Lakeland makes the shot. Unless Lakeland has a timeout. Antonio Hazelton to inbound the basketball. The pass will go to Vitsikovic. He launches it. It's good. 
with three seconds remaining in overtime. And it's for three. And the Carbondale lead is one. How about that? Wow. We are not going to step away, folks. We're going to keep it right here and thank all of the great sponsors for making high school basketball possible. Thanks to Adams Cable Service, By the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall and Son, Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, by your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts, NJS, Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, by the White's Crossing Sports Shop, Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs, and McGovern Insurance Agency, comprehensive coverage with a personal touch, and of course, your starting lineups, brought to you today by the Roselle Department well, Store. Well, that was, that was Talon Vitsikovic's third three-point uh, field goal today, and what a time for it to come. So now, Carbondale has a 46 to 45 lead. You've got to go to the basketball. You, if you throw the ball long, you better not throw it out of bounds down here because if you do, it goes back up there if nobody touches it. Three seconds remaining. Carbondale up by one, 46 45. Selitsky to inbound the basketball. Selitsky gets it into Donato, and he's followed immediately by Dunstone to stop the clock with 2.3 seconds. I would, I would take everybody off the line if I was Coach uh, Morrow now, so there's no chance of a, of a foul on a rebound. Tyler Donato, nope. six foot three junior forward. Has played a great basketball game here tonight. Is on the strike for the Chargers, leading by one, 46-45. I, I, I would get I would get these guys off the line. With 2.3 seconds remaining, Manowitz checks back into the Lakeland lineup along with Josh Doyle. And we'll let the picture tell the story right here. Carbondale has a 47 to 45 lead. Tyler Donato. Oh, two two clutch, clutch for you. Big time free throws. And it's 48 to 45. The Chargers long down court pass. Get, it goes they, out get of it, bounds. they get it down here. They get it back here. Wow, what a game. What a game. Yep. Tyler Donato, offensive rebound, put back, free throws, ball, free throws, free throws, did it all. He did it all here tonight, folks, as Allen will take the inbound pass. He's fouled with four tenths of a second remaining. And wow, what a game. No, what, a, what a way to finish our broadcast season, also, Glenn. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's over. As Jay Allen will step to the charity line with the Chargers leading 48 to 45, nine tenths of a second left. Some deep concentration by Jay Allen, and the shot rims out. Jay Allen just banks it off the glass. Nanowitz with the rebound. Long down court shot is off the mark. And Carbondale will win it in overtime, 48 to 45. Well, Steve, if nothing else, this is a heck of a heck of a game to finish our season of broadcasting. <coughs> what a game. Yep. We went to overtime as we were deadlocked at 38 at the end of regulation. And then uh, Carbondale. With the win, 48 to 45, as the Chargers improved their overall mark to 11 wins and seven losses in Division Three. They are three and six. Lakeland overall falls to 10 and eight and two and six in Division Three play. Up next for Lakeland, they will be at Holy Cross coming up on Tuesday, February 7th, and the Chargers will be at Old Forge.
So if you're going to 0 4 to take on the Blue Devils, Glenn, that's the way you want to do it. Winning an overtime game sure. and taking some momentum Let, down to Pizza yeah. Town. But they've got to settle down, and uh, turnovers were costly for them. Nine, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 turnovers. 20 turnovers, and, 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 uh, and t at times where they could have extended the lead, just, uh, just, just, we just didn't protect the ball. And you got to give Lakeland a lot of credit because they came after them defensively and double teaming and really putting a lot of pressure. And uh, af after the, the, the overtime, when the, once the overtime started, though, Carbondale settled down. They, 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 they did protect the ball a little bit more at the end of the overtime to come up with a nice win. It was it was a good game. Was, as I said, it's a great way to finish our broadcasting season for this year. Well, Glenn, great working with you once yeah. again. Really had a lot of fun broadcasting the games. Get ready to get those golf clubs out <laughs> when the weather gets a little bit better. <laughs> the, I look for the, the hockey pucks today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and folks, uh, we thank you very much for joining us all season long for Adams Cable High School Basketball. And it's been brought to you tonight by Adams Cable Service, by the Comfort Doctors, TE Spall and Sun Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing of Carbondale, Bestons Auto Body and Collision Center, by your local Napa Auto Parts store, Carbondale Auto Parts, and JS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, by Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, your source for quality tires. By the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Tom's Floor Shop, your first step to a beautiful home, Main Street Childs. By McGovern Insurance Agency, comprehensive coverage with a personal touch. And your starting lineups presented today by the Roselle Department Store. The final score here once again in overtime, Carbondale 48, Lakeland 45 for Glenn Muskowski. Chris Nanfelt, Claire Seymour, and Sal Balzoni. I'm Steve Young. Thanks for a great season. Until next time, so long from Lakeland.